Each school or college will have their own deadline for UCAS applications to be submitted to them. Your son or daughter makes their application to UCAS via their school or college and their school or college then uh, does a supporting statement. Uh, schools and colleges will remind your son and daughter about the various deadlines. As a parent, try and make sure that you know what the deadline is uh, so that you can remind your son or daughter because if they don't meet the deadline, the school may not submit their application and they won't be able to apply for university that year. The summer holidays are a really good opportunity for your son or daughter to get some work experience, especially if it's in a relevant field to the course that they're intending to apply for. It might not be paid work, it might be voluntary work, but any experience can help to bolster their personal statement. From early September, your son or daughter can make their UCAS application, although in practice, schools will probably, and colleges, would probably uh, prefer the applications to go in uh, early November so that um, they have a chance to look through them and make sure that they're as strong as they can be. And your role as a, as a parent, really, is to do the same, offer to go through the application um, and just make sure that uh, you think it's as strong an application as possible because your son or daughter will be in competition with thousands of other students at hundreds of different colleges and universities. For certain courses there is an earlier deadline of 15th of October. If your son or daughter is thinking of applying for Oxford or Cambridge universities or to do medicine, veterinary medicine or dentistry, they need to be aware that their applications have to be in by the 15th of October, so they need to have started work on them earlier than most other people. Schools and colleges will be very good at reminding your son or daughter about this deadline as well. Once your son or daughter's put in their application, universities and colleges uh, will uh, start offering places. Some universities and colleges are a lot quicker at doing this. It does depend on the institution and the particular course. If your son or daughter does receive an offer, that's great. Give them some praise. They've done really well. They may have to get certain grades in their A-levels, um, but this can act as an incentive for them to carry on working hard and to get the grades they need. If your son or daughter isn't successful and doesn't receive any offers, it's not the end of the world because there are possibilities of applying for further additional courses later in the application process. As a parent, it's just about encouraging them not to give up and to explore the possibilities of applying again later on. I think the most challenging part of the application um, is composing the personal statement. Um, obviously, it's quite a restricted amount of characters and getting across everything that your young person wants to say in that number of characters can be quite tricky. And it does take quite a lot of re-editing and probably a lot more time than most young people think. The most challenging thing in the university application process for both my children was them writing their personal statements, where basically they have to sell themselves to the universities they're applying to. Um, they spent ages doing this, uh, writing several drafts, uh, just getting the evidence uh, that they needed um, to explain why they wanted to do the course and why they wanted to apply uh, for the universities that they picked. And, um, to get the relative, relevant experience and, and skills um, in their application form. So when my son Sam started to apply for universities, I was quite surprised at how early that application process had to start. And it was almost 18 months before he would start where we were making the application process. What I would say is the schools gave him so much support and the sick forms gave him so much support. There's, there's a lot of support online and he seemed to be really quite keyed up on, on what he needed to do. Although for me as a parent, it was a little bit all new territory.